Hey guys, welcome back to the Awesome Divine channel, or welcome to if this is your first time. So, what we're going to show you is how to make a video in the Panzoid Video Editor. Yes, this is a full tutorial, so I've never seen a good Panzoid Video Editor tutorial anytime soon. I've seen one from 2018, 2019, but those are really old and this feature has updated. So let's go get the new tutorial started. Alright, so here's Panzoid. As you probably know, we have three different things. We have the media library and effects. We have the view window, and then we have the timeline. So, this is the clip. Let me delete this so I can drag it back in for you. And put it onto view one. You can see it's on the audio and video track. So, now let's give this a play. Looks like there's two here, which is kind of strange. I'm not quite sure what happened. I'm just going to bring it. Okay, that's good. So now what we're going to do is select the clip by tapping it once, and then go into the settings area, which looks like the pencil. If you want to see what they look like, you may click that and what their name is. So now we have a couple things. These four options you cannot change, but these reset the clip to how they are. Undoing it by just pressing Control Z or by this undo button up here. Now this one you can also not change. This is just the resolution as it says. Now we can move all of these little layer transform options by simply holding and using the shift option. Now if you want to do it without shift, it just moves a lot slower. But it still moves as you can see. Same with scale. Although this one, I wouldn't recommend using shift. This goes a lot faster. Then when you get all the way down to zero, it goes backwards upside down. Now if we go over to rotation, you could use shift for this one if you wanted to. So you can go a lot faster. Alright, so now with the opacity, it's just opacity, how much you can see the clip. Shift works on this one too. So a little fast now. And then there's blending modes, which I'm not going to use today because I don't really understand those. <laughs> and then there's also volume modes and pan. So volume is volume, and then pan is which speaker it comes out of. Now, if you see this little stopwatch icon, this means that you can keyframe this. So, it looks like for the transform, all of these can be keyframed. So, I'm going to give a little tutorial on how keyframing works. I'm going to do scale. So, click the little stopwatch, and then you'll see these. Also, in the timeline, you'll see four diamonds. Now, move to the part where you want the keyframe to end, and click the little diamond in between. You can see another set of diamonds up here. Now if you move to how you want this to work, we're going to look in on my low quality face. You can see that I just tried to move it, but that's not how this works. We're going to try to fix the position, although this, since I'm zoomed in, goes nice and really slow. So I'm just going to change it to 100 and that seems good to me. So now if we go down to the back. Uh, this is Panzoid. Now I don't have very much experience with this video editor. And then we can see it zooms in. So, and if you want to delete them, you just select one of the triangles in there. Sorry, diamonds. And it's not working because I have to unselect that or unselect this and now there's no more so that's pretty good for keyframing and now let's move over to the effects panel i'm going to also zoom in with the plus t with the plus key as i said and then click this little flash that kind of looks like a bang so now we're going to click the plus over here and now you can see we have all these effects. They're labeled under things. And we can even search for a layer. 
and it'll give us those. So now let's um, look for some ones that we're going to do. You can have multiple effects on each one. I think we're going to go for a nice RGB shift. So we're going to just select it, no dragging. And then you can see it kind of looks like a 3D video. Now that's not it. We can select the clip. And now, as you can see already, we can keyframe these. And now if we drag, you can see that it changes what angle we have. I don't recommend holding shift for this. And I'm just going to reset that one. And now there's also a mount, which is probably how much it changes by. For this one, I would hold shift. And then we can just move this by a lot. And then you can also keyframe how much this is on or enabled. So now I'm going to move that to the beginning. Move my point head, add another keyframe. And then you can keyframe it being enabled too. So what we're going to do is we're going to keyframe it being on. And it'll be like a transparency thing. Now, this is pan zoom. Now, I don't have and it just turns off there. Now, I don't have so you can turn it on and off throughout your videos without having to split your clips. Or you can just split your clips if that would be easier for you. You can also copy it and paste it a bunch of times if you want to have it multiple times. And I'm just going to delete these now. Or you can just go like this and press delete. So, let's just look over one more effect, and I'm going to choose a color one. I'm going to choose color adjustment, so I can have some multiple options. So, now if we move these up, we can see how these work. I'm also going to move this back a bit, so I can read all the text. And then also move this up. I still don't see it. Okay, and that doesn't really work to show it, so I'm just going to move these back. And now you can just move these, and then if you don't want to have to show all of them, you can just go like this. So it looks like purple and green. Reset button. And this one looks like yellow and blue. So this is warmth. This is the green and purple one. I forget what it's called. And this one is a red and blue one. I'm just going to reset them all. And what is this one? These seem fairly similar. Just maybe a little brighter. And then the add. Even less powerful. So there's a color one for you. Of course you saw we could keyframe those. But I don't think we need any more effects. And add a 3D scene. Now you're probably like, whoa, this is crazy. But you remember that Panzoid is a real 3D video editor and a regular video editor. So we're going to select this. This is only about 5 seconds worth of clip, but that is perfectly fine. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into our 3D objects, which is what this little box is, and then select the camera or create one. I'm going to create a shape, and then I'm going to call it or make it a donut. So this doesn't look too much like a donut, but just wait. If we go like this and click donut size we can do that and if we click this one you can also edit that I'm gonna make this a bit more of a donut kinda like that okay now that we have that done you have position rotation and scale now you can see that instead of having two options we can fill out we now have three so what we're gonna do is if we make this position, 
this is how close it is to us this is how close to that one is and these are regular positions and now if we go for a scale you can see we make that like that we do that and this one we can go inside of it and then for rotation you can see we're rotating that that so this is where the 3d one comes in so we can go like that and then like that that's how you do that now there's also text which I feel like is pretty explanatory but we're still gonna look at this so we see we have a couple fonts to choose from but don't worry cuz um, you can upload your own I believe I thought yes you can upload your own with this custom option and then there's a little file picker, and you have to do that. And then you can also type in your text. Boom. And color, and then stroke, which is not me having a stroke when my video doesn't come in on time. That's border color. And then there's also rotation you notice how this is not 3d hold shift with these and then that's about it. we're just gonna drag a preset shape down there and then you can see we have a circle now if you want a rectangle, you get a rectangle. Now, if you want scale, you can make it a square. Sc scale. Sc yeah. Then you can change color to lovely colors. Or any colors. Because colors are colors. Yay. And then you can see stroke, which as I recall, is border. Now you can do this. You can do this. Now, if you want to change something like part of its width, like just one of these, then I believe there's not a way. Ah, yes. You have to drag it manually with these. So that's it guys, this is Panzoid, and now you know some features, some things that don't work but probably should work, 